Hey, brothers and sisters, hope you're doing good. Now, today, I want to speak about the existence of God. How can we know that God exists? You see, we're living in a world where everything is trying to disqualify the Bible and trying to say, you see, there's no God. There's no God. There's proof like this. There's proof of uh, evolution. There's proof of this. There's proof of that, that God does not exist and everything came to be by evolution and there are circumstances and some processes and this kind of people who say that they are scientists and they say that um, you see there is no God and there is no way we can prove about it. You see the world is very funny. People can sit down and uh, you know do a lot of research about things which happened as six billion years ago there were some dinosaurs, there were some this and that, some archaeological uh, researches dating way back like they say i don't believe uh, anything existed by those six billion years ago except god eh? but they say this and this existed six billion years ago this is one billion years ago this is a... but they cannot phantom that the son of god was here just two thousand years ago and there is proof and there is evidence of that they try to make you seem so foolish and so blind and they try to make you think, uh, they brainwash you to make you uh, seem to think that it's you who is losing it. It's like you who is not understanding them. You see, right now, in uh, Sun, Switzerland, they are creating a portal. They want to create a portal whereby they want to, to know uh, the existence of the spiritual world. They want to join the natural and the spiritual world. They are looking for something called the God particle. You see, the human beings have gone from uh, finding the smallest kind of particle, which is called the atom, in the physical world. Now, there's so much intrigued and they want to go and look for the God particle, which is, the, which is believed to be the... Uh, brings out the ex the creation uh, aspect of life. You see, they want to create their Big Bang theory. Just go and, uh, and read about Sun, uh, C E R N. All right. Just go and Google and read about what Sun is all about, and you'll be so much shocked on what the world is about to do because. All they want is to disapprove the existence of God. They want to say that God does not exist. And man came from monkeys. Man came from, uh, you know, evolution. You know, we fell from somewhere. Something blasted. And I want to tell these fools something here. And I want to prove to these fools. Why am I saying they are fools? Because the Bible says, a fool says in his heart, there is no God. So I want to prove to these fools who say in their hearts that there is no God how we can know that god exists all right now the first way that we can know is something called the internal witness the internal witness okay now deep inside all of us there's a sense of god whether you're a christian you're an atheist you're who or who there's a sense of god inside you you're only in, in denial why you see the bible says in romans uh, uh, 11 from uh, verse 21 <clears throat> let me read for you romans 11 verse 21 it says something here Eleven twenty-one. 21 uh, is it romans uh, romans 10 let me just paraphrase i'm i'm kind of trying to look for this verse all right L let me just paraphrase because i don't want to take a lot of time but you can just go through romans 11 21 to 25 eh? just go through that area but what i want to paraphrase is the Bible says, although they know God, they exchange that truth for a lie. People know God, but they are exchanging this truth for a lie. They are saying, no, there is no God. But deep inside them, there is an internal witness, witnessing to them and telling them, for sure God exists. All right. And like I said, the, the book of Psalms uh, uh, 14, 1 says, a fool says in his heart, there is no God. So he is basically a fool. He's not a wise person. He's just being wise in his own concept and that's why the bible says uh, you should be if you think you're wise you should become a fool so that you can gain things of god because some things you try to experiment and try to say this one happened this way this one happened this way you see that one existed because this particle uh, you know bla blast with this part come on you're just being a fool of yourself and and you're trying to say that there is no god because you're a fool okay the second way that you can know God exists is because we have the external witness, okay? The external witness. This is a proof around, especially in nature. Look at uh, 
uh, nature how it is today? How can you say concerning the mountains? How can you say concerning the rivers? How can you say concerning different things? The, the Bible says in Romans 1 verse 20, uh, let me read for you about his external power, Romans uh, 1 20. It explains to us concerning this, okay? For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. There are different things that you can see left, right, and center. You can say, for sure, this one, there must be a very supernaturally bright being who created these things. Because there must be something to create something, all right? You can't just say something blew from nowhere. Wait, when they will blow that sun in Switzerland? Just wait and see. Most probably, I, I, I tend to hope that the church will not even be here because they want to open a portal. And remember what the Bible says in the book of Revelation. And they opened, the bottomless pit was open. Look at what they want to open, the black hole, the hole without an end. What do we call a black hole? That black hole that they want to open is a hole that you cannot see the end. How do you translate that? That's a hole which has no bottom. It is a bottomless pit. And that's what they want to open. They want to open a black hole to be able to connect the spiritual and the natural. So remember what the Bible says? That they opened the, bot the angel from the bottomless pit who is called the Apollyon or, a, or Abaddon in a Greek word, I think, eh? When they opened that, he came out and locusts came out from there uh, to torment people for five months straight. And they were ordered not to kill anyone, but to torment them. To, and that's the time that the Bible says men's hearts will fail for what they have done. They look back and say, God gracious, there's a God in heaven. What have we done because of the pain that they're going to see? Let me tell you something. You definitely have to believe that there is a God. Because the Bible tells us so. There is an external witness, okay? The God's invisible qualities. There is no excuse about this. Let's see, number three. We have the cosmological argument. The cosmological argument, cosmos means the universe, all right? The cosmological argument. We keep on arguing all the time. You see, every known thing in the universe has a cause. Every known thing in the universe has a cause. So we have to trace the cause uh, back to see the existence of God, all right? If, if, if you see man, where did man come? They say man came from blah, 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 blah. So where is that blah, blah, blah? It was in the earth. So who created the earth? The earth was created by a certain thing. Uh, it blew. So who blew? Who, who made it to blow? Who made it to blow that thing? There must be an existence of a God, all right? I don't know.